All right, we're back here on the Dirty Pat Walsh channel on YouTube, motherfuckers. What's going on, fuckers? Truly Canadian today, except I'm sporting my vintage Dead Kennedys pin back from the day I got this pin in 1981. Back when I was a young juvenile delinquent. Sure hoping that dip fairy fucking shows up today. So we're running low. And this is when I'm out of this shit. I'm out, baby. Mm-hmm. But I know. I know for a goddamn fact that the angel of snuff is going to shine upon me sooner than later. Uh, my lovely friend, Hillary Thompson, is uh, sending me a care package. I know that. I know that. It's me and Hillary's Facebook friend anniversary today, so basically, that means that uh, I guess today's the day we became Facebook friends. Hillary, Hillary, as you can probably tell, Hillary's a very good friend of mine. Hillary and I have become very close over the last uh, year, over Messenger and Facebook and uh, Warehouse Strangers. We met in the Punks Not Dead group uh, that we both got re booted from recently. <laughs> But, uh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, fuck Hillary. And I know you watch these videos, you know. And, uh, thank you so much for being all that you are to me. You are a wonderful, wonderful friend. Uh, a confidant. Uh, generous with your emotions and, uh, the things that you mail me all the time. I'm literally surrounded in things that Hillary has mailed me, like, uh, like my, uh, my gangster fucking gold tooth. Oh, fuck. Almost lost it there. I'll show it to you. Just saying, you know? Uh, like my brass spittoon. My, uh, key Monica. This shoehorn uh, uses a guitar slide uh, numerous tarot decks tarot cards okay I'm gonna show you something because I I, I I haven't been using them musically and I'm gonna use them in an artist or not been I haven't been using them for tarot card studies because they're very they're just I don't want to Hillary sent me this box of tarot cards from New Orleans. I swear to God, I, I collect tarot cards. I've been collecting tarot cards for years now. And uh, one of my favorite decks is, uh, you know, there's all, tarot decks are, there's no, there's not one. There's a million different versions. Um, I'm a sucker for the, the, the original versions, you know what I mean? Like, like there's a million knockoffs and you know, all kinds of weird uh, takes on the tarot that I find are just kind of, they're good in an artistic sense, but they're not good in the, the way that tarot is meant to be used. Anyhow, um, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Aleister Crowley Toth deck. Uh, that's a deck I learned on, uh, along with the Rider Waite deck, which is very different, but uh, also... If you're going to learn on the Toth deck, you should learn on the Rider Waite deck as well, because the similarities are important, and the differences are even more important. Uh, but before, you know, there was, uh, there's also a whole uh, French take on, on tarot occultism. Um, uh, you know, the, the uh, Oscar Os Oswald Worth uh, tarot. And most importantly, uh, the Fran Francois Harry Tarot de Marseille. I think I pronounced that correctly. Um, 
this is a fucking beautiful box of tarot cards. If you even look at the size of it, okay, that's the size of a, like, this is how thick, this is full of tarot cards. You know, they're in fuck almost twice, at least one and a half size the thickness. These cards are fucking beautiful. I, I rarely take them out. Only to look at them very carefully. Have a couple information cards. But yeah, look at these things. Like, they're old. This is like a reprint of the old original uh, Tarot de Marseille. Uh, these are just beautiful cards. And the reason I'm not using them is they're hard to... They're, they're, it's, hard to it's a hard deck to shuffle. And I don't want to fuck them up. Because they're just so perfect and beautiful. <laughs> I'm a sucker for this, this shit. I can open it to any card, and it's just fantastically beautiful. The way I look at tarot, I use tarot basically every day uh, to guide me, uh, to make me think about what I'm thinking about. I don't think that there's any... I don't think that there's any uh, God or anything like, I'm not, a, I'm an atheist, you know, but I believe that tarot, tarot cards are, um, if you study them, once you get a grip on the major arcana and all the archetypes and then all the small things in the little, like it, the tarot is basically a book uh, explaining the human condition. You know what I mean? Every aspect of the human condition. And, you know, you can read that book a million, billion different ways every time you pick it up. You know what I mean? And it's... I spend a lot of time with my tarot cards. And uh, those ones are... You know, I have a, a couple other copies of the tarot, like that same deck, but in just cheap uh, bookstore, uh, you know, quality. It's like $20 decks as opposed to whatever that was. That's the best, that's the most amazing deck of tarot cards I'm ever going to own, you know. So Hillary, Hillary gave me that, you know. I'm just surrounded by things that she gave me. Um, you know, I have a whole tower of dip cans, uh, most of them. She, she sent me those. Um, I have other boxes of uh, stuff, like uh, You know, like, cool stuff she sent me, like this uh, St. Lazarus uh, pendant, you know, for use in hoodoo. And all kinds of good luck seals and pentacles and a really cool John the Conqueror root. I used to make mojo bags, and these were always a part of that, you know. A funny picture. <laughs> the shredder. The. They're all fucking computer related, office related shit. That's kind of funny. And yeah, so fucking awesome stuff. There's other stuff I could show you, but I'm not. Uh, and cool cigar boxes. You know? Uh, fuck. Thank you, Hillary. You're the best. And I appreciate it all. But mostly, I appreciate your friendship and, uh, you know, our talks and stuff. So thank you so much. You helped me in lots of ways. And you know that. <clears throat> um, the other... <clears throat> See, I'm not so uptight about sending this past the 15 minute mark, the 15 minute mark now because uh, I know I can so I'm just going to ramble uh, I had a really nice uh, private message from uh, Ross Gertrand I think that's how you pronounce his last name and please forgive me if I say it wrong Ross who 
commented and left uh, links to his music in in a video I made last week. Uh, Ross is an old local guy. I don't. I think I think he lives in Kingston now. Um, I'm not too sure on that, but he's an old local guy. He used to come see the Solar Hearts play all the time. Um, and he's been very kind in his comments to me. And he wrote me a letter last night that put a lump in my throat, you know. Um, made me feel like, uh, made, it made me, it, it really, uh, it, re, it, it gave me new uh, reinforcement for what I do here on the channel, you know. I was actually starting to feel like a little uh, redundant, you know. And, uh, or whatever, you know, I do this for my kicks, right? I do this for fun. You know, I'm glad for all the subscriptions. I'm glad for all the, the views and everything like that. Um, I'm very glad, you know, of course I would love all these videos to be, uh, viral, you know, but, uh, you know, they're not going to be, you know, and one thing he brought up, he said, I, I noticed that not a lot of people watch your videos, you know, because a lot of my videos are like one view or two views or no views or three views. Some of them, weird ones, uh, are like in the, f uh, this one I did on a, my Golden Cup A minor harmonica about a year ago. Uh, it's up to like 450 views or something like that. I don't know why. One random more Monday morning vlog I made, just like this one, probably, but really, I don't remember even what I said in it. It's just a, just, just a vlog like this. It's up to 450 views or something like that, you know? This weird, I don't know how this stuff works, man. You know, you put a lot of time into the music that I do. And, uh, you know, learning songs and figuring out stuff to do, weird stuff to do, you know. And that's the stuff I really enjoy, you know. And uh, and I enjoy doing this, too, because it's my window to the world, you know. But, uh, but yeah, he really uh, reinforced the, um, the notion that um, I'm doing something good here. Because uh, he got something out of it, you know. So that's really fucking awesome, you know, and it's, you know, slow and steady wins the race, right? And I'm not interested in winning any races or nothing. I just want to play some tunes and make some weird sounds and, you know, yak and spit tobacco, you know? And, uh, you know, even he even said about these vlogs, they reminded him, and this fucking is what choked me up. Is, uh, he said uh, they reminded him of his, I believe his grandfather from Scotland. He used to send him videos of just talking about bullshit. And that's kind of what I do with these, you know. Sit and talk about bullshit in my life. And spit tobacco into my jug and play little instruments and stuff. Doesn't really make any sense, but I do it for kicks, you know. But I'm really glad. I'm very grateful, and uh, so thank you. And all the all the good people who uh, give me support here, you know, Kawasha and uh, Dan and Kurt and uh, fuck, I could go on. I gotta make. I haven't made my shout. Jeremy, uh, who else is coming to mind? Uh, fucking um, oh, what's his name? Ah, uh, fuck. There. Uh, he lives in Red Deer, Alberta, and it's Jim. Jim Gordon. Uh, you're awesome. And, uh, yeah, there's just so many names. I got to write them all down at some point soon and uh, make a proper shout out list. All these things I promised to do, I'm really procrastinating on them, I guess. Uh, like I said, the tattoo video has got to wait for hygienic reasons, you know, and ink reasons, I need ink, but, uh, that's all good, but yeah, it's just another fucking Thursday here in the meth end of town, and, uh, 
the big news for me today is it's Hillary and me's uh, anniversary of connection in the social media world. So, fucking thank you, Hillary. You've been an amazing friend. Better, a better friend than a lot of real life friends I've had over the years, you know, and that means an awful lot. Uh, I, I could say that about a bunch of people who I've met here or on Facebook or whatever, you know, like Dan and Kurt, Jeremy, you know, you guys are my, my family, you know, um, and yeah, and fucking all, you know, all the people who comment, you know, Kawashi, uh, you know, Scott Wood, or uh, Sean Wood, sorry, Scott Wood's an old boss of mine, um, Sean Wood, you know, uh, and Ross, you know, you fucking, it, it just, it, it, it made me, it really warmed my heart, last, that was the last thing I did before I went to bed last night, is read this letter from Ross, and it really fucking made me feel good, so thanks a lot for that, and, you know, I also got a notification on uh, from an old meme I made advertising this channel back when I called it uh, Dirty Pat Walsh Thongs, all one word, which was kind of confusing, I think. Uh, but yeah, this today, a year ago today, I had 17 subscribers. 17. And now I'm up to 102 or maybe 101 or maybe 100. I don't know. I haven't checked yet today, but I broke a hundred, and uh, that's fucking astounding to me. You know, a year ago today, I was thinking this that would that's never gonna happen. A month ago, I thought that's never gonna happen. You know, so thanks a lot. Yeah, I'm fucking surrounded by things people have sent me, I'm also surrounded by things Dan has sent me, you know, guitar strings, harmonica mics, uh, spoons, uh, fucking, I'm just surrounded by cool shit people send me, <laughs> so fucking thank you so much, you know, it's, it's really awesome, I wish I had the, the means, the money and the means to send everybody I know, fucking cool shit that I have, you know, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm grateful, thank you so much, so, this has been a long, uh, 20 minute video of me just going, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, but I mean it, I fucking mean it, you guys are all fucking awesome, and, you know, it's, it's, it's people like Hillary and Dan and Kurt and Jeremy, and, uh, Jim, the other Dan, uh, Jocelyn, uh, fucking, oh, it just goes on, you know, you guys are what keeps me doing this, you know, well, you guys are helpful in keeping me inspired to do this, let's just say that, I'd probably do it anyway, but it's, it's, uh, I'm very grateful, so thank you, thank you so much. Stay free. Be the best you that you can be. And if you can't do any of that, then do your best to fake it. Because that's what I'm all about. Faking the good life. All right. Talk to you soon. Be well.